Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my Hartford Whalers franchise here on NHL 24. In the last episode, we saw a tough, gritty, hard-nosed win against a tough Carolina Hurricanes team where we eked out a win with backup goaltender Scott Wedgwood leading the way where he recorded 38 saves on 40 shots. Now we see, though, in our second meeting with Hurricane down there at the bottom left, we did lose 5-2 to in that meeting, but we were able to rebound with uh, another shutout victory as Matt Murray secures his second shutout of the season, um, joining Anton Forsberg of the Senators with the only two, or I'm sorry, the only two goaltenders in the league with multiple shutouts. So before we send these Vancouver and Islanders games, I'll just give you a, a, another look at these updated lines. I kept the first line the same, and on the second line we have Leo Carlson, who turned out to only be a 76 overall. We did uh, bump Lawton up there with Arvidsson. Um, Lawton has kind of been struggling this season, but hopefully um, pairing him with the offensive prowess of Arvidsson and Carlson kind of gets him going. Then we moved Olofsson down to the third line as he's been very um, underachieving so far with only four points in 13 games. So hopefully uh, moving him down kind of ignites a spark in him as he's there with Jake Evans and Marcus Foligno, who have both been uh, two very good players for us on those back lines. And then we'll throw Zadina down on the fourth line, although... He has been playing pretty well there on the third line with Martinick and Nolan Patrick. And then our defensive unit pretty much stays the same. So Murray's going to go here against Vancouver. Let's see if we could put together another win. 1-1 one, one after the first period with Elias Peterson and Matt Grizzlick as the goal scorers. And then again, all nodded after two as JT Confer gets on the board and JT Miller scores. Two JTs there as JT Miller scores for Vancouver on the power play. Now we send the third period and another even third period there as Lawton gets on the board for us and it's soon after tied up. So we surrender 35 shots there and we only get 23 off ourselves. So let's sim overtime and we are going to fall. We will get a point in this game, but Peterson gets his second goal of the game and it's a game winner there for Vancouver. So... Tough break there, but let's see if we can rebound here against the Islanders coming in at 10 and 2. And they've been one of the best teams in NHL so far. And I was looking at their team, um, not too talented on paper, honestly, as they get, uh, go to 10, 2, and 1. Not too good on paper, but uh, they've just been playing very good hockey here to start the season. So um, we're going to throw Wedgwood in for this one just because we have a back to back. Give Murray the night off before we uh, head over to Chicago and watch that game. All right, so here we go, hosting the 10-2-1 New York Islanders. 4 nothing after the first period. Scott Wedgwood is just not really cutting it so far. That's not good. I wonder if the CPU puts Murray in. So they do put Murray in. Um, he allows a goal there in the second period. And then we at least get one from Manji Yapani. So we fall 6-1 to the New York Islanders. And we even outshot them here in this one. Just not good goaltending there from Wedgwood. Not getting the job done. Here, as we see, Victor Olsen is hurt. So he is going to miss this next game against Chicago. But now it's time for some hockey. Welcome to the Chicago. Welcome to the United Center. And most notably, welcome back Patrick Kane. One of the best, most greatest players here in Chicago history. And he is back for the first time as Connor Bedard there on the faceoff loses to JT Confer. And Patrick Kane with it early on in his return here in Chicago as Brian Dumoulin, one of Chicago's free agent acquisitions, gives it off. And now Tarasenko, another free agent addition on a one-year deal here for Chicago, takes it into the zone with speed. Dangles in. Quick shot. Say there by Murray. So Patrick Kane is back in Chicago as the... Third most games played in franchise history, and he also ranks second in points. So Patrick Kane back here, and of course Connor Bedard, a phenom prospect, looking to kind of fill the shoes as Kane was traded away last offseason to, off season to New York. And now Hartford with it in the zone. Loose puck ends up on Seth Jones' stick. Maneuvers up ice to Tarasenko over, centering pass, intercepted there by Mangiapane, picked up by Dumoulin. Tarasenko shot in front, blocked by Mangiapane. Now Tarasenko back to Dumoulin. Dumoulin over to Seth Jones, shot blocked there by Mangiapane, who's going to take it up ice. And he's absolutely laid out there, and it is going to be a penalty, maybe a charge there. That looked like a clean hit to me, but I won't complain as Hartford 
starts on the penalty here, or I'm sorry, starts on the power play as opposed to we're usually used to committing the penalties early on. So hopefully we can build on this momentum as we'll get a look at our power play unit early on. Maybe a little excessive there on that hit, but um, nonetheless, it's going to lead to a Hartford power play here as Victor Alton is out of the starting lineup. And he's typically on our first power play unit, although we might look to send, uh, put him down to the second due to his uh, unproductivity to start this year. Lawton with a shot off Zadina. That, that must have hurt. Loose puck over to Arvidsson, up to Zadina. Zadina back to Grizzly. His shot is blocked. Wow, that looked like it hurt as well. I think that was Jason Dickinson. A clear into the zone retrieved by Grizzly. Grizzly gives to Arvidsson. Arvidsson up ice. Take a pass, center ice. Create some space over to Lawton. Shot, glove save there, Peter Morazic. So as I, I mentioned, Chicago was very active in free agency with additions of uh, Brian Dumoulin, Vladimir Tarasenko, and also Rasmus Ristolainen, although I believe they traded for Ristolainen during the offseason. Clear attempt doesn't go too far as Grizzly picks it up. Grizzly gives to Carlson. Patrick Kane now with it. Get some, gets in there a little bit. Stolen by Tyler Johnson. Clears up to about mid-ice. It's picked up by Grizzly with 30 seconds here on this power play. Now, Leo Carlson with it. Back to Kane. Kane in front. Loose puck. Grizzly shot wide. Now, Carlson with it. Pass just couldn't quite get there to Patrick Kane as Tyler Johnson gets another clear off with 10 seconds left on this power play. Patrick Kane gives the Grizzly. Now, uh, Marcus Foligno going up ice with it. Gives to Carlson in front. Goal! Leo Carlson with his first career NHL goal to put Hartford up 1-0 just as the penalty expired. you love to see that. First career goal for Leo Carlson, and you know we're going to keep that one. Hopefully the first of many as Marcus Foligno gives it there to the bench. It was only a matter of time till Carlson. It took a while into the season, but... A nice quick snapshot there in front of the net as he's able to avoid Seth Jones there and just gets it by Morazic blocker side. Hartford takes the one nothing lead now as we'll get Nick Cousins who's back in the lineup with the injury to Victor Olofsson. Assists there to Marcus Foligno and uh, Matt Grizzlick. Foligno also playing against his brother Nick in this game so hopefully we get to see them throwing bodies against each other. Two more of the most physical players here in the NHL, probably. I'm definitely at the top, I would say. Patrick gets the loose puck. Patrick into the zone. Centering pass goes behind the net. Martinick now with it behind the net. His pass goes back to CeCe, who gives to Patrick. Patrick back to Martinick behind the net. Trying to find something in front. He'll give it back to Grizzlick over to CeCe. CeCe now Patrick in the slot. He gets a, a soft shot off, which is blocked away by Mrazek. Now Martinick picks up the loose puck. Patrick now with it. Back to CC at the point, over to Grizzly. Grizzly gives to Patrick. And Patrick's centering pass will be intercepted there by Taylor Radish, who takes it up ice with space. He'll get into the zone. His shot is blockered away there by Matt Murray. Zadina now with it. Peels back, gives to Patrick. Patrick gives to Jake Evans with some space in front. Jake Evans makes a move. Oh, and the puck just got out of his reach there. As he had the net, he won. He beat Mrazek there, but... Um, he just wasn't able to uh, keep possession of the puck there. Nice move there by, from Jake Evans, though. Cody Cece now fended off. Ends up on the stick of Tarasenko, taken by Evans. Now Philip Zadina with it. And good defense there as we get a shot off right in front. And that was Orlov. Good save by Mrazic. Now Connor Bedard back out there with Taylor Hall. Uh, fellow first overall picks. 13 years apart, Taylor Hall and Connor Bedard were selected first overall, and now they find themselves playing on the top line here in Chicago. Hall working into the zone. Good defense there by Tyson Berry as Dmitry Orlov picks it up. Gives to Lawton. Lawton gives to Carlson, who enters the zone. Another shot there for Leo Carlson, saved by Mrazic, as we're just under 10 minutes here in this first period. Now Chicago has their fourth line out there with Nick Foligno, Jason Dickinson, and Philip Kershev as we're up 4-2 to in faceoffs. Now 4-3 to after we lose that draw. And we'll have another one as Mrazic picks up that loose puck and gets yet another freeze. So 
we'll have another offensive zone faceoff here with Scott Lawton on the draw for us. Lawton wins it back to Tyson Berry. Loose puck on the stick of Orlov, blocked in front with congestion. Now Caleb Jones picks it up, gives back to Connor Murphy. Connor Murphy, Colin Murphy. I should have looked that one up. I know it's one of the two. Now Tyson Berry with it. Gives to Lawton, who has some space in front. Lawton, he scores! Just gets it by the pad there of Peter Morazic as Hartford takes a 2-0 lead here in Chicago. And uh, Chicago's defense kind of just let Scott, Scott Lawton go right by there as he just gets it under the pad of Peter Morazic right in front as he led the charge there with uh, two Chicago defensemen giving chase. So Scott Lawton nets his third goal of the season after a slow start. He's been kind of coming around here as of late. As we'll get our top line back out there with JT Confer, Patrick Kane, and Andre Mangiapane. Ristolainen now gives to Dickinson with Chicago's fourth line still out there. Dickinson back to Khrushchev. Can't handle it. Now Patrick Kane's going to take it up ice. Create some space. He's still going. He has all the Chicago defenders around him. Does get a shot off. Now gives to Mangiapane. Can't really get anything going. It's going to be retrieved back there by Josh Brown, who will skate it all the way back into the corner. <laughs> and now Mangiapane with it gives up to Kane. Kane getting tired out there as he's bodied. Now Mangiapane with it. Tries to work past wrist to line, and it's picked up by Zaitsev. Now Dickinson goes up ice, and he'll dump it in. Josh Brown's able to retrieve. Battling against the boards. Kershev with it. Still board play going on. Dickinson. Now Brown passes up to Comfer. Comfer will cr cross center ice. And he can't get a shot off there. Pierre Eng Engvall. Now Athanas. Athanas As Asayu, I think that's it. Ristolainen, he's going to skate it back. He'll give. Stolen there by Grizzlick to Felino. Pierre Engvall now with it, enters the zone, going against Josh Brown, who steals it. A little maneuvering there from Brown, who gives to Evans. He'll get hit. Picked up by Seth Jones. Now Pierre Engvall enters the zone over to Tyler Johnson. Johnson's centering pass goes off the skate of Felino as Adina picks it up as Josh Brown now enters the zone and he'll dump it in as Adina gives chase. Pierre Engvall re recovers. Johnson now Seth Jones with it. His pass there intercepted by Victor Arvidsson as it'll get dumped into the Chicago zone. Picked up by Brian Dumoulin who gives up to Seth Jones. Seth Jones, nice pass over to Pius Suter. Shot! Rebound there. Seth Jones had a shot, but Josh Brown is able to fend it off. One of the few opportunities here for Chicago in this first period. They haven't really been able to get anything going. Now Scott Lawton with it. Pass back to Grizzlick and a soft one-timer attempt there is saved by Mrazek. So a minute 15 now left here in this first period with Hartford up 2-0. Each team now with their second line out there. Pius Suter, Taylor Radish, and Lucas Reichel for Chicago. Grizzlick shot from the point is deflected over the net. As Chicago comes up with it, Lucas Reichel will pass over to Murphy. Murphy poked there by Leo Carlson. Now Reichel with it tries to enter the zone. Blocked off by Scott Law and Murphy gets it. Loose puck to Radish. He'll kick it up the boards and it'll be retrieved there by Cody Cece. Now just seven seconds left here in the third period as Hartford probably has time for one more shot. Victor Arvitz in the law and, and they will not get a shot off. And the first period will come to an end with Hartford up two to nothing. Leo Carlson nets his first career goal and Scott Lawton adds another as we outshot Chicago there eight to three, although they are out hitting us 11 to four. We are, um, we do have the slight advantage there on the face off and time on attack. We more than double them. And I correction, it was not a power play goal. It was just after the power play. So we are 0 for one on the power play. All right, so let's start this second period as Connor Bedard is back out there, and we haven't seen much from him. He does win that draw, though. Tarasenko dumps it in. Tyson Berry with it. As Tarasenko uh, gives a lot of effort there on the forecheck. Mangiapane now at center ice. Gives to Comfer. Loose puck ends up to Dumoulin. Up to Bedard. 
And Bedard with a nice quick shot there. Glove, or uh, sorry, blocker. Um, pad save there from Matt Murray. Now Tarasenko to Dumoulin. Back to Hall at the point. Now Seth Jones goes up in the slot, and his shot is saved by Matt Murray. Tyson Berry over to Patrick Kane. He turn, turns it over right there. Tarasenko with a nice opportunity. And shot saved there by Matt Murray as Chicago now has full pressure going. Tarasenko right in the slot. Shot blocked. Matt Murray was was on his back, but luckily Confer is able to skate, out, skate up ice with the puck. He'll work it into the zone. Stolen by Seth Jones, now to Bedard. Who gives back to Tarasenko. Taylor Hall now with it. Maneuvers in the zone. Up to Tarasenko. Save. Matt Murray. Some crafty work there from uh, the veterans Tarasenko and Ter Taylor Hall, but Matt Murray makes the save. Now I have the defensive zone face-off here. Scott Lawton on for Hartford. He'll lose it that one. Now Murphy at the point gives to Radish, and it's going to trickle out of the zone as Chicago will be forced to reset. Caleb Jones now with it. As Scott Lawton battles him against the boards. Lawton does end up with the puck as he'll skate up ice into the Chicago territory. Makes a move, and it's stolen there by Pius Suter, who's hit hard there by Matt Grizzly. Grizzly being a very uh, physical presence here in some of these games, which I did not expect. Radish now to Suter to Reichel, backhand wide. Taylor Radish retrieves it in the corner, back to Jones. Suter, Radish in front, blocked. And uh, Suter had a nice chance there off the deflection, but quick adjustment from Matt Murray to make the save. Lawton picks it up as it's poked out of the zone. Murphy gives to Radish over to Johnson. Scott Lawton still giving chase as Johnson will peel up ice, get some room. And Cody Cece with a hard hit as it looked like he was a. Uh, and we're going to get a tripping a tripping penalty there on Chicago. Let's see if we can get something going with the, with the extra attacker on. Carlson now. And his pass goes off the stick at Grizzly, and it'll be retrieved by Chicago for a stoppage as they commit their second penalty here in this one. Lucas Reichel there with the trip. If there was an opportunity for Patrick Kane to get a goal here in his return to Chicago, I think now would be the time here on the power play. Although, we don't have our first power play unit out there. We do have our second power play unit with Lawton, Comfer, and Zadina. And you see Tyson Berry up back there on the back end with Andrew, Mon Andrew Mangiapane. Jason Dickinson with it now shorthanded for Chicago. Glove save there, Murray. Defensive zone faceoff here for Hartford. Lawton wins it back to Tyson Berry. He's going to give to Comfer. Goes towards the net. Shot save Mrazek. Rebound is corralled there by Mrazek. Zadina was almost there in time to maybe get a shot off on that rebound, but Mrazek's able to recover and freeze it for an offensive zone draw now for Hartford as our second power play unit is still out there against uh, Dickinson and Felino for Chicago. Seth Jones' clear attempt just gets to mid uh, center ice. Now Tyson Berry to Mangiapane. Nice pass there to Lawton. Lawton in the middle. Zadina. Pad say there, Mrazic's on his butt. Oh, we had a chance there. Lawton now with another shot. Zadina was almost able to get it across for Confer as Mrazic was in a, a bad spot there, but uh, congestion in front doesn't allow a clean pass. Another offensive zone faceoff here for the Whalers. With 54 seconds left now on the power play. Good win there. Is that Felino? That was Felino for Chicago. Now Ristolainen goes up ice with it. 40 seconds here on this Hartford power play. Ristolainen pass in front for Seth Jones. Blocked in front. Mangiapane with it. He'll give to Zadina. Zadina skates it in. Gets towards the net. In front to Barry. Save Mrazic. Good opportunity there for the Whalers as Zadina get it out, got it out front of the net, but uh, the angle there on the pass was closed off by Mrazic. Now we will see our first power play unit out there with Patrick Kane. Majipani to Tyson Berry. He takes a slap shot. Save there by Peter Mrazic. Good vision there through traffic as Kane was out there in front trying to get the deflection. We'll do it again here. Another face-off on this Hartford power play with three seconds left on the power play. 
and Chicago wins it. Payne, Kane will pick it up, though. Loose puck behind the net, picked up by Murphy. Now Dumoulin with it, as he'll enter the zone. Dumoulin gives to Reichel. Shot, pad, save there, Murray. Loose puck in the corner. Tyler Johnson picks it up. He'll get back to Murphy. Murphy's shot goes wide, and then Reichel with it off the loose puck. He'll be now be fighting in the corners. Leo Carlson gives uh, defense there. Tarasenko has a nice shot in front, which is blocked away by Murray. And now Tyson Berry will get it out of the zone for Hartford. Loose puck there, retrieved by Tarasenko at center ice as he'll peel back into Hartford territory. Closed off there by Tyson Berry. Loose puck will be picked up back by Berry. Now Berry will give to Leo Carlson. Now Taylor Hall out there. Carlson with a big hit on Taylor Hall there, almost into the Hartford bench. And he'll take it into the offensive zone as the loose pucks now. Was well, picked up by Chicago, but now ends up on the stick of Dmitry Orlov, who passes it up to Martinick. He'll give to Nolan Patrick in front. Pad save there. Loose puck. And then Chicago ends up with it. We had another good opportunity there in front. Connor Bedard now with it. We haven't seen much of him. He'll peel back. Tarasenko shot wide. Good maneuvering there to Bedard. Good pass. And Tarasenko's shot was just wide. Now Dumoulin here with it. Gives to Seth Jones in the slot. He'll pass back to Hall. Back to Tarasenko. Shot sat, saved there by Matt Murray. Nolan Patrick is hit. Loose puck. Logan Stanley gets it. After being hit, he'll recover to Martinick. Martinick pass across to Cousins, who we haven't seen here yet in this one. Now Nolan Patrick will try to get it. And we'll have a delayed penalty here. Another penalty on Chicago. So that's Tyler Johnson for hooking. As Hartford heads to their third power play of the game at 0-2 so far. And uh, it's nice to see the penalties be called on another team for a change. I feel like we're always the one getting hit with penalties. But a little hook there from Tyler Johnson as he'll head to the box. And again, we'll have our second power play unit out there. With a 2-0 lead in 5:39 here in the second period. Face-off win by Suter. Goes to Engvall, who will pass up to Seth Jones, who will dump it in, and he'll get a clean dump. As Victor Arvidsson gives chase, he'll peel up ice. Pass over to Matt Grizzlick. Gives up to Zadina, and he's just offside there. That's one thing we haven't seen too much of. We haven't seen too many offside or any icing, really. So at least the stoppages from that point of view are uh, kind of being minimized. Although you do like to see it once in a while, just for... Uh, the realistic aspect now. Chicago wins this draw. Comfort with it. Off the loose puck. He'll give to Scott Lawton. Tries to dance his way in. As uh, Felino ends up with it for Chicago. Now Seth Jones. To Ristolainen. Good play there by Grizzly to close him off against the boards. As Harford ends up with it. Comfort enters the zone with some speed. Passing the middle for Zadina. Scores! Power play goal for Philip Zadina. Off the great setup there by JT Comfort. And the Hartford Whalers go up now, three to nothing. Fourth goal of the season there by Philip Zadina. Confer had some speed going into the zone, and Zadina, great shot there, top shelf to beat Mrazic short side, and he just couldn't get there fast enough. Good shot there by Zadina, who, um, after a kind of disappointing tenure there in Detroit, he's starting to get it going here a little bit in Hartford as he's a. Uh, Tied for third on the team with four goals with Scott. Or I'm sorry, uh, JT Comfer. So now we'll have our third line out there. Jake Evans on the draw following that uh, go that um, goal to put Harford up three nothing. Now Chicago gets it, but dumped in the zone, picked up by CC battling in the corner there. Athan Asayu trying to get it, but CC's just holding it, killing some time, and he'll get the kick out as it's picked up by Matt Grizzlick. Grizzlick up to Zadina. Zadina enters the zone, looking for another one. Rebound! And it just goes by the net as Dumoulin was trying to handle it. But at least he gets it out of harm's way. Now Seth Jones up to Athanasayu. And his centering pass is intercepted by Matt Grizzlick, which Jake Evans gets. Gives to Zadina. Zadina again enters the zone with some speed. And he has someone in front. Jake Evans there in front. Pad save there, and it's poked away by Peter Morazic. With two, two minutes left in this second period. Athan Asayu now with it. Gives to Seth, I'm sorry, Caleb Jones. Pad save there by Matt Murray. Angval kicks it back. It's picked up by Grizzlick. One minute left now in the second period. 
Harford will look to add another one as Caleb Jones absolutely rocks Comfort there. It looks like Comfort struggled to get on his feet for a little bit, but he does recover as Taylor Radish will dump it in the zone. It's retrieved there by Stanley battling against Radish. Stanley, big passer to Mangiapane on the breakaway. And Mangiapane couldn't put it home. Kind of patient there. Maybe should have been a little more assertive on that forehand, but Mrazic closes the door, which could have been uh, catastrophic if uh, they fell down by four here going into the third period. Now, 4.4 seconds, offensive zone faceoff for Hartford. They win a chance for a shot. Josh Brown and Patrick Kane, gloves saved there by Mrazic. So we will get another faceoff draw here with 0.8 seconds. Pius Suter now on the draw for Chicago. And at the drop of the puck, we will end this period. As the Hartford Whalers net another goal, this time from Philip Zadina on the power play. That was beautiful. As they enter the third period up 3-0 against the Chicago Blackhawks. Very good game so far from Hartford. Defense has been pretty good. Matt Murray's made stops when he had to. And the offense has been putting goals on the board. Let's see if we can finish strong here in the third period. As Connor Bedard wins the faceoff draw. Seth Jones clears it in. It'll be picked up by Tyson Berry. Barry gives to Kane, who we're still looking for a little a little something from him in this one. Dumlin is able to beat Orlov there in transition for Chicago as they couldn't get a clean centering pass off. Now JT Confer battling for the puck. He'll give to Mangiapane. Mangiapane loses possession, picked up by Tyson Berry, who dumps it into the zone for Hartford. And that's going to go for an icing. Matt Murray, still a clean game so far. I'm not going to jinx it, but he could be on his way to another uh, another flawless performance, I'll say. I'm not going to name drop any terms here. Tyson Berry to Orlov. Mangiapane couldn't get the clear reception, and it's going to go offside. These first lines still out here for each team. As Kane and Bedard take the ice for the same time yet again. Does Connor Bedard surpass Patrick Kane in career points as a Chicago Blackhawk? One would have to assume, but then you would also at the same time have to assume Bedard stays in Chicago his whole career, essentially. As he'll take it into the zone, goes to the slot, pass up to Tarasenko, and he couldn't get a clean reception. So he'll take it back. back. He'll pass back to Dumlin in front for Taylor Hall. Slap shot there from the point by Seth Jones, blocked by Tyson Berry. Victor Tarasenko now with it. His shot is blocked by Mangiapane. This team might not be great on the face-off circle. We might not be consistent offensively or defensively, but we do block a lot of shots. Now Orloff in the slot for Carlson, who gets hit, can't get the shot off. Now Patrick Kane battling for it as Chicago retains possession with Lucas Reichel heading into the zone for, for the Blackhawks. And that's going to be a slash there on Chicago, I think. Yep, Lucas Reichel's going to get called for a slash. As they're going to commit their fourth penalty here, as Hartford is still clean when it comes to penalties. Scott Lawton now with it. He'll give to Cody Cece with the extra attacker out there for Hartford. They have some time here as Radish just disrupts the play and gets possession to stop the clock. So another pa uh, penalty here for Chicago, just not playing disciplined hockey. And it's very rare that we don't commit any penalties. I'm sure we'll get one here down the stretch as we kind of like to make things a little bit harder for us despite the large lead. So you see league leader in hits. And Lucas Reichel up there for Chicago as uh, Terry for Anaheim leads the way. Nick Foligno now out there for Chicago wins the faceoff draw. And we have two pairs of brothers in this game, right? I think Caleb Jones and Seth Jones are brothers for Chicago. And then we have the Foligno brothers out there as well. So two pairs of brothers in this game. Patrick Kane now with it on the power play. Gives to Arvidsson with some space. His shot wide. Zaitsev will give up to Foligno. Turned over there at center ice as it does end up back in Chicago's possession. As Caleb Jones will enter the zone, but it's pickpocketed there by Leo Carlson. He'll give to Kane. He's going to enter the zone. Gets close. Blocked there. Poke check away. And Marcus Foligno scores. We added him to this power play unit with the injury to Victor Olofsson. Just as a big body could maybe get in front of the net. And there he's able to clean up the rebound from Patrick Kane. As Hartford takes a 4 to nothing lead here against Chicago with another power play goal. 
Marcus Felino with the goal. As he'll definitely have some trash talk against his brother here. As not only did he get a goal, Hartford's up four to nothing. Wow. And Marcus Felino adds his fourth point of the season. As you see, Patrick Kane still leads his away for us with 15 points. Hartford will keep their top line out there for this faceoff as they lose to Chicago. Engvall into the zone. His pass goes astray. Patrick Kane now to Mangiapane. Grizzlick to Athanasayu. Now CC to Kane. Intercepted in front to Engvall. Goal, Pierre Engvall. And that's another case of defense leading to offense for Chicago as the shutout comes to an end for Matt Murray. Thought he might get his third already this season here in the early goings, but um, an interception there by Athanasayu to Engvall right in front, and he wins short side. Easy chance there right in front of the net. And that's what you like to see there on the four check. Often aside, you now with his ninth point as Seth Jones leads the way here for Chicago. Tyler Johnson now on the faceoff draw against Jake Evans as Johnson wins it back to Zaitsev. Often aside, you now with it enters the zone for Chicago. Zaitsev now with it a slap shot blocked in front goes wide. Sedina picks it up. He'll give up to Cody Cece. Cece beats Rossman's wrist line in there as he'll enter the zone back to Zadina. Slap shot blocked in front. Zadina now with it in the corner. He'll give back. Now CC with it. He gives back to Evan. Shot from the point. Save there from Brazic. Picked up by Felino. Now Grizzlick with it. CC in the slot. Pad save there. Mrazic. Now Evans with it. Back to Felino. So battle there. Felino with another shot. Save Mrazic. Oh, I'm sorry. So they put Yaroslav Halak in there. Halak, the backup goaltender here in Chicago now, as they pull. Peter Mrazek after four goals allowed um, about halfway through the third period. So we'll get a chance to see Yaroslav Halak in this one to finish this game. Pius Suter wins the draw for Chicago. Caleb Jones will give up to Suter. Suter, good persistence there to keep puck control. Now to Radish. Radish in front for Reichel. His pass to Suter. Weak shot there from Suter as Hartford retains possession with Josh Brown taking it into the zone. Brown now back behind the net. Ends up on the stick of Nolan Patrick there. Now Martinick over to Brown. His wrist shot is saved there by uh, Halak. Murphy battling there against Martinick as Cousins will pick it up. Loose puck now ends up on the stick of Taylor Radish. Goal cool pass across to Caleb Jones. The loose puck ends up to Radish, up to Suter. And he's hit hard there by Nolan Patrick. As Josh Brown takes the loose puck into the zone. He'll give over. And a slap shot there on the one-timer from Nick Cousins, but good save there by Yaroslav Halak. And there's Nick Foligno just casually looking like he wants to murder somebody. Now each team with their fourth line out there with 7-16 left in this game. 4-1 to one lead for Hartford. Chicago wins a draw. Kurdyshev will give to Mur Murphy. Murphy back to Kurdyshev, who's going to take it up ice. He'll give to Foligno over to Dickinson. Dickinson wrist shot just wide. And now the puck will go all the way around the board. Seth Jones wins it against uh, Martinick. Big hit there from Nolan Patrick on Felino. Felino ends up with the loose puck in front of Kershev. And Felino scores. So Nick Felino and Marcus Felino both with a goal here. Another instance of defense paying off there for Chicago as they get a nice transition opportunity. And that's an easy one-time finish there for uh, Nick Foligno. As now the deficit is two goals here for Chicago. I do like when they show those uh, updated points leaders and goals leaders. That's good, especially when it's uh, more of a league leader statistic that they're showing. So Hartford leads here 4-2 to two now with just over five and a half minutes left in this fourth period. And Chicago now with some momentum late. Let's see if uh, Hartford can hold on as you see Chicago just winning the physical battles here now after that second goal as Dumoulin takes it in. Back to Kershev now behind the net. Stolen by Orlov. And he's hit hard there against the boards. Lawton now ends up with the loose puck. They're battling along the boards as Carlson will end up with it. Pass across for Victor Arvidsson. 
Victor Arvidsson turns up ice with some space. He'll enter the zone. And his shot blocked there. Rebound. And Murat, or I'm sorry, he'll lock with the save now. Connor Bedard with it. He'll give it to Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall with some space. He has options. Dumoulin saved there by uh, Matt Murray. Now Comfort with it. Pass across ice to Tyson Berry. Barry to Mangiapane. And another penalty by Chicago. My goodness. See, especially when it's all it's so one-sided like that. I don't like that either. I know we're getting the benefit here, but... I mean, at least we had to commit one or two compared to Chicago's five. But Chicago with their fifth penalty of the game. And um, we still have yet to commit one. So, again, monitoring the, slot, the penalty sliders is an ongoing process. We'll see what happens next game. But now with 241 left, we will have another power play. Let's see if we could... Get another one, just add a little insurance late here. It's Grizzlick with it, his his shot blocked by Murphy in front. Grizzlick, another chance maybe. He'll get back to Arvidsson with a shot, save there by Halak. Now Johnson poked away by, I think that was Zadina with the poke as Hartford keeps possession here in the offensive zone. Zadina with a, of the rip and a blocker save there as it's pushed out of bounds by Halak. All right, Felino back out there for Chicago on the faceoff draw. He'll win it back to Zaitsev. Now Dickinson with it as he crosses center ice. His dump and attempt goes around the boards as it's picked up by Grizzlick. Now to Lawton. Lawton works his way in. Can't, can't keep it as Zaitsev picks it up. And then Dickinson now with it. Felino again with it. Give, he'll give to Dickinson. Chicago had a little chance there. Shorthanded. But it's saved there by Matt Murray as Lawton back with it. Now to Arvidsson. Back to Grizzlick. Up to Zadina. Zadina wins uh, the maneuver there on the edge. Grizzlick in front. Save Halak. Yeah, Zadina uh, maneuvered there well and took a good angle to beat Caleb Jones one-on-one. -on -one. And you see a hard hit there by Nick Felino. Definitely known to throw the body around a little bit. All right, just over a minute left in this game. Patrick Kane now with it. Here's his chance. Save Halak. Rebound. And Chicago ends up with it. Kane had a couple good chances there in front, but it wouldn't go for him as uh, Chicago retains possession. Now Felino gives back to Kane with 35 seconds here, and he's hit hard by rest, Mr. Stiline. And Lucas Reichel now back to Seth Jones, Tyler Johnson, as they pull their goalie with 23 seconds left here. Maybe Patty Kane can get on the board with an empty netter. Create some room with 14 seconds now. Let's try and get it up ice. Mangiapane to Felino. Eight seconds. Felino, uh, and it's going to be intercepted. Now Mangiapane to Leo Carlson with four seconds, and it looks like we're just going to ride this one out. As the Hartford Whalers defeat the Chicago Blackhawks 4-2 to on the road in Patrick Kane's long-awaited return to Chicago after being traded away last, off se uh, last season to the New York Rangers. Tremendous performance all around. Our offense was clicking. Our defense was playing well. Matt Murray was making some good sh saves there. And um, this is probably the most complete game we've played all season so far. So you love to see that. You love to see the progression and the growth. And um, hopefully this is the start of something here. It's been a little rough in, a, in the sim games we've done. But um, in these live look-ins, we've played pretty well as we get another victory here against the Chicago Blackhawks. 4-2 to two, as we outshoot them 30-20. to 20. Leo Carlson, the third star with one goal, two hits, as he nets his first NHL goal. Two for five there on the power play. Second star, Nick Foligno, one goal, five hits there for Nick Foligno. That was a big one there on Victor Arvidsson, as you can see. And Marcus Foligno, the first star with one goal, one assist. The Foligno brothers end the game with as the first and second star, and that's just cinematic. And from Chicago, Illinois, this is Hartford Whalers Hockey, leaving you after a 4-2 to victory. And before I conclude this episode, just a little preview for what to expect in the next episode. I don't think we're going to play any live games, definitely not a full game. We might have a, a live look-in if there's a close game we want to jump into and just kind of watch the conclusion of. But I plan on simming 10 games next episode as we'll close out the month of no November and hit on December full steam ahead as we'll uh, chip away here at this season. So um, next next episode will be um, a lot of uh, 
We'll look at stats around the league. We'll check out the standings, maybe check out uh, the trade market, see if there's anything open there. But um, this is where I'm going to leave you. As always, thank you so much for viewing this video. I really appreciate it. I'm glad we got to get a win here uh, despite starting the episode with back-to-back -back losses. So a nice rebound win there as Patrick Kane returns home to Chicago as the Hartford Whalers defeat the Chicago Blackhawks 4-2. And um, thank you so much again for viewing. Uh, like and subscribe. Leave a comment. I'm always encouraging everybody to leave comments. Uh, definitely want to hear what you think about this team. So as always, it's been real and be well. I'll see you next time. Thank you.